Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Pivotal Moment. I'm your host, Nikita Faustin. Here we talk to people in news, sports, and entertainment about the moment that changed it all. Today you are in for a wonderful treat, but before that, if you haven't, download and subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean, and leave us a review. Let us know what you think, because today we are talking to Chicago's own Shy Candy. She is a rapper, entertainer, the only female MC from across the nation who beat out 7,000 in Chicago alone and more than 50,000 worldwide to make it to the final round of BET's One Shot. She impressed judges like T.I., The Game, Twista, E-40, DJ Khaled, and so many more. She's worked with industry leaders like Young Jock and Young Bird, Irv Gotti and Young Jeezy. And now she's fresh from a tour in Dubai. She's preparing to drop her next album, but she stopped by Pivotal Moment to talk to us about her music, her mission, and what's next. We're going to play her hit, I'm Hot, throughout the show. If you're driving, pull over because it is hot. <laughs> Welcome, Shy Candy. Go! I'm blazing, so amazing. Go! I'm flaming. So amazing. Okay, the roof is on fire cause my swagger's on the ceiling. If I had the distribution, I most likely sell a million. Other rappers, they don't like me cause my lyrics hurt they feeling. And I make them pay attention like I'm automatic villain. That's the smoking single, I'm Hot, by rapper, entertainer, performer, Chicago's very own Shy Candy on the show with us today. Hey, 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 how you doing? <laughs> All right, see, that's the energy I'm talking about. That's the energy I got when we first met. How you doing? I'm good. You know I keep it pop. <laughs> you do. And her cut, This Is Why I'm Hot, is still hot, and that's what you heard on the intro to the show. So, Shy, let me ask you this. There may have been many moments, and we can definitely get to those, but was there one defining or single moment that stands out the most that made the difference from where you were to where you are now? I think the uh, moment for me that kind of woke me up that, hey, I could really, really do this was when I auditioned for the One Shot Show, the BET One Shot Show. And it was okay. thousands and thousands of rappers outside. And <laughs> when they said my name, that was just it for me. Top six out of all them people, guys, girls, it just blew me away. It just let me know I could do it to just get out there in front of people that I've seen on TV and I've heard on the radio to display my talent and to let them tell me if it's good enough or if I need to go back to the lab, you know what I'm saying? It, <laughs> it just it just brought it all into perspective when they chose me. Tell us, walk us through, Shy Candy, what that experience is like from standing in line with these thousands of people to actually getting in front of the judges. What is that process for those who might want to go through it at some point? First of all, if you don't get there early, you might as well go home because <laughs> <laughs> we got there actually on time and the line was blocks and blocks and blocks long. It was below zero outside by the lakefront downtown. Oh, um, yeah, and, and then me as a female, when I perform, I don't care where I'm performing. I always like to look like I came to perform. So I had on some patent leather heels. My feet was for reason. I got frostbite on my big toe, and I didn't care because I was going to go put it down uh, <laughs> to keep warm. People was going to get hand warmers and coffee and everything. People was paying to get to the front of the line, paying people in the front of the line to try to get in. It was crazy. Do you remember how many hours you waited before you actually got to the front? Oh, I cut line. I cut line. I, I jumped in front of somebody because I've seen oh, them finna oh, close the door. So they're about to fight us. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I appreciate that. Whatever it takes to get to the top, it made it. Yeah. It work, right? So when you, you got to. to the front, you got in there, you got in front of the judges, what happened next? When we first got in, it was so many people. They had lined us up like cattle. And then they sent us in this room. And 100 people rapping. So while you rapping, it's the guy next to you rapping. So if you're not focused, you can easily stumble listening to this guy. And you're rapping directly for somebody else. And they listening and they listening. And if they like you, they tell you to go get in the line. And they give you a piece of paper. If they don't, they send you out the door. So when I got my paper, I went in a different room. And I rapped for the Horseshoe Gang, one of the guys from the Horseshoe Gang. Then we had to give an email, and they said they'll call us that night and let us know who made the top 50. So I got my call that night, and my phone, my janky phone <laughs> at the time, 
hung up on the man while he's telling me oh, where to go. I'm trying to call back. It's an automated service. I was about to cry. I ain't going to lie. So I, he finally called back. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please don't take that as I didn't want to go. The next morning I went, it was 50 people. They made us go four by four in the room and rap for Mike Smith, King Tech, and Crooked Eye in the room. So as we went in the room and we rapped for them, and the Horseshoe Gang was standing off to the side, they called us back again. They said, we got so many good people that we can't choose, so we need a a second round. So a lot of people kind of fell out then because they didn't have a second verse that they was going to fit. (laughs) So... I had to come and think and sit down and think, like, okay, what I'm going to do next? I got to do my hottest thing. So I went up there, I did it, and Mike Smith came in the room after that and said, okay, we're picking our top six. And he called my name, and I thought I was saying the name in my head, so I didn't move. I was like, oh, man, I hope he called my name. He called it again. I was like, oh, that's me. Oh, my God, that's me. Yeah, me. Yeah. you You didn't hear it or you heard it, but you couldn't believe it. I thought I was thinking so hard and I wanted him to call my name <laughs> that it was me saying it. That's what I thought. <laughs> and then they chose so, me top four. <laughs> were there any yeah. judges that you were especially concerned about impressing? Twista is from the land and he's definitely going to let me know, <laughs> let anybody know if it's dope or if it's whack. And I just had to put on for Chicago. That was all that was going through my mind. Like, they in Chicago. I got to show them what Chicago got. I'm high. I'm burning up. Now they pee pee when they see me. Used to throw away my freebies. Now they pay me for my CD. From Chicago to New Orleans. Me and my team rolling. New York to California. I'm like a nigga holding high. Ain't no secret though. Everybody know it, coach. Put me in the game. Listen, I'm Shy Candy was the only female selected for BET's one shot final six in Chicago and the only female in the final four for the show nationally. Along the way, she got some feedback from judges like T.I., DJ Khaled, RZA, Tech 9 Mike Smith, and yes, Twista. All vets in the game. A few lessons still guide Shy Candy today. Be yourself, because that's what's going to get you to the top. People like authenticity. But while you being yourself, be able to take constructive criticism. If somebody tell you something about something you're doing and you look at it and you say, hey, maybe they got a point, you don't have to take it and flip your whole thing, but be able to take the constructive criticism and make it your own. Do it without compromising who you are. Was there ever any advice that made you feel as though you were compromising who you were? And was there ever an advice that you thought was simply wrong? Really, no advice can be wrong. If you don't like the advice that somebody's giving you, that should make you go harder. So I wouldn't say that anything that I've ever heard said to me about me was wrong. Maybe people perceived what I was doing in a way that was wrong. But everything that people say to me, I listen. Because you can learn a lot from anybody. You have to listen to what people have to say. Because a lot of times you don't see a lot of things about yourself. So Mm. I would say all advice is good advice. Just learn how to take it. Good advice. That's good advice right there. And you talked about, Shai Candy, a defining moment in terms of making it to BET's one shot and making it to the final four. Are there other moments? in your career, personal or professional, that really have guided you to the spot where you are now on the national stage? Well, Bilo from Do or Die, and he just does a lot of mentoring with me. You know, he keeps my head straight about the game and just a lot of things that I probably wouldn't know so early on, you know, getting my feet wet in it. Mm -hmm. And him along with Redman, they keep me grounded you know, in the game. Whenever I, I have kind of uneasy feeling about something that's going on musically, I can always call them guys and, and get straightened out and, and figure out where I am, what headspace I should be in. And you have to have people that did it before you. Shy 
Sky Candy's success is inspiring more female rappers to take the stage. My inbox stay lit <laughs> with people sending me music. Hashtag stay lit, everybody. You heard that. Hashtag stay lit. That's Hashtag right. Sky Candy. <laughs> And they always sending me music. Hey, what you think about this? And what you think about this? And me personally, I think that there's no such thing as bad music. Everybody likes something. Everybody likes something different. Is there something that you're listening to, Shy, when you get these requests in your inbox? Is there something like when you hear it, you're like, yes, that's going to work. That's popping. That's lit, as you say. Or is there something where you like, this person really has potential? What is it in a person that you can detect as an artist yourself? If they have their own style. Like, I hate to hear people's music that sound like one oh. long song that I done heard on the radio. <laughs> like, I hate that. If somebody gives me a uh, original. time to turn the channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, mm-hmm. just hearing originality at this point in time in the world is, like, right. refreshing to me. No one can do you like you. That is what is always the master plan, right? Exactly. There's a whole lot of minions out here. (laughs) But you are not one. So speaking of Shy Candy, and obviously you have the word Chicago in your name, talk to me about the rap that you think Chicago gets. Do you think we get a bad rap? Do you think it's like mostly true? Or what can be done about it if it is? And just like in any other city. I can take you somewhere in each city and show you exactly what you see on TV in Chicago every day. And I can take you to the same city, just like in Chicago, and I can show you something so beautiful you wouldn't believe it was there. If you want to hear a different side of Chicago, there's rappers that spit about the different sides. You got Lupe Fiasco and and Common and all of these guys that show you a different side of Chicago. So Chicago is a lot of things. It's not just violence. It's not just death. Like a lot of people think. Preach. Preach. It's, it's so much it's more. Everything. Right? Yeah. It's everything. Such a good statement, Shy Candy. Such a good statement. And in your music, you talk about Chicago and you talk about how it is a part of the fabric of what you wear every day and when people see you, when people hear you. So how do you plan going forward? Because you got a lot of stuff coming up to keep representing Chicago. Everywhere I go, they go, no, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> no doubt, right? right? I don't care if I done moved away and and been gone 30 years. Once you grow up in Chicago, Chicago is in your bloodline. So Mm -hmm. anything that I do, I put what all them guys on that block taught me, what my family taught me, things I learned about surviving. I put all that in the forefront, and I just move forward. And I know you uh, originally... We're working with Young Jock when you first started or when you first got discovered. Can you tell us about that and how you kind of transition from one stage to another and how that impacts your work and your music? Working with Jock early on, it showed me a lot of things about not only recording, but about the industry. I'm grateful that I had the opportunity and it really helped me grow as an artist. You are a rapper, but you're also a mom. So for those performers and entertainers who are also balancing the family life, the advice is what? Put your kids first. (laughs) Put your kids first. If you got a show and you ain't got a city, you ain't got a show. You got to put your kids first. Because the last (laughs) thing you want to do is get famous and have them embarrass you on TV. (laughs) You were never there. At all, and you know they will do that. Put you on blast, yo. And I'm I'm proud of my son. My son's made honor roll every semester this year, and I'm proud. I'm very involved. It is working out well for you. And so, Shy Candy, I want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to talk with us and to talk to Pivot Moment and talk to our listeners. Love doing interviews with you. I do. I do. It's so comfortable. Like we, like we sitting in the kitchen chicken. I know. I know. I'm like, shy. That's like, like from the day one, I was like, oh man, she is so on point. And then I'll be playing this is why I'm hot. Like, you can't tell me nothing. I mean, I can't sing or rap, but when I listen to that, I can do both. <laughs> I can't sing or rap. <laughs> I can't.
can, and I am not ashamed to say it. I can, but I like to talk to people who can. I respect oh, that. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. But I always so, have a great time on the phone with you. I really do. I do. I do. And I respect your craft. I respect you. And I thank you. We love Shy Candy. Shout out to her for all of her success on the stage and off and for representing Chicago for the good, the creativity and the talent that we do have. Be sure to follow Shy Candy on all social media so you can catch her next performance and be on the lookout for her next album. Also, there's another single. Oh, and also shout out to Red Man and Method Man, her mentors who continue to guide Shy Candy and all the great things that she's doing. Another single that I encourage you to listen to that is on Pivotal Moment is It's All an American. It's a single by Sammy Krasaki. We had her on the show just the other day. It is a message to Donald Trump. You gotta hear it. Also in our Women Who Rock series, Miami model maker Sunny Morrison in another episode, please download that. She's created a space and a place on the runway for young girls and a modeling empire in the process in Miami. Listen to our one-on-one with filmmaker and professor Dr. Kelly Richmond Pope. This is an awesome film that she's created. It's also on Netflix. It tells the story of the largest fraud in U.S. history, $53 million. This woman did it and nobody knew. Dr. Pope tells us and answers the question how something like that could be done. Also, listen to our interview with Sally Hazelgrove. She's the founder of the program Crushers Club, an after-school boxing program that is helping young men find a pathway out of the neighborhood and producing a few Golden Glove champions along the way. Download Pivotal Moment on iTunes, on Google Play, and Podbean, and leave us a review. I am your host, Nikita Faustin. Thank you so much for listening. Here's more from Shy Candy. I'm hot. We will talk to you next time. So amazing. Go. I'm flaming. So amazing. Okay, the roof is on fire because my swagger's on the ceiling. If I had the distribution, I'd most likely sell a million. Other the rappers, they don't like me because my lyrics hurt they feeling. And I make them pay attention like I'm automatic billing. I'm hot. I'm burning up. Now they pee pee when they see me. Used to throw away my freebies. Now they pay me for my CD. From Chicago to New Orleans. Me and my team rolling. New York to California. I'm like a nigga holding hot. Everybody know it, coach. Put me in the game for these motherfuckers blowing no body in my way. I don't see no competition pulling up in something far, sitting high roof, missing. I'm hot. You see me sweating. Get your church fans out. Yeah, I'm so fucking fly that my purse stand out. Play a nigga whole squad with his hurt man's out. I'm hot. This fire water quenching thirst in this drought. Go I'm hot. My city, no promoters play me petty. All the niggas say I'm fine. All my hate from ugly daddies. Take it, made back music. Then I mix it with some Chevy. All the jewelry we be wearing make the people think we heavy. Yeah. I'm so fucking fire, you can call me Jerry Lewis. Ain't too many bitches fitting that can do this like I do this. Yeah, I'm eating all my talent till my tummy look like Buddhas. Bear it all through my music. I'm a motherfucking nudist. Check candy on the track, it's like Pirelli on a tire. Great A. Bitch, with no date that I expire. Yep, I like it loud, nigga. Turn me up higher. Sparking up an interest like I'm touching too wide. Go. Fireball spitter, but my breath ain't no below. Once the stage up in flames, I set fire to the crowd. And my Louisville slugging, cause I step up to the mile. Or am I this fucking hot? Cause I breathe shots down. Go high.
I'm hot, I'm burning light. I'm hot, I'm so light. 